right, it's player ban! Alright, let's see this epilogue. Okay, um... Guess we gotta be cat again. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. I'm sorry, hands. I'm s oh, who is this? I'm sorry, Annie. Sorry that I can't be with you. Oh, this is the mom. Please live on for mommy. Hello? Come on, time to wake up. Oh, it's the bear. <laughs> I can never tell who's talking. Rise and shine. We've got to open up for the day. Come down as soon as you're ready, okay? Oh, this is like how the game begun. Okay. Well, we got all our stuff still here. There's, uh, Tora? Is that the cat's name? Meow. What did I order, you ask? I am not a customer. I am the guardian DT of the restaurant. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Oh, um, sorry, but only the chef is allowed in the kitchen. <laughs> Let me be the chef today. I'd love to, but I'm afraid you've still got too much left to learn. How long will it take? Are you still hung up about that conversation we had the other day? I'm telling you, there's no need to rush, okay? Now then... Okay, hello? Am I supposed to... Looks like we've got company. <laughs> Yowch! Isn't the ceiling a little low? No, you're just too tall. Ah, caramba, upsie daisy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, well, so this is your little restaurant, eh? Why, hello, Mr. Bear. Long time no see. Oh, hi there. Good to see you're doing well. Here to grab a bite to eat? Uh, nope, sorry. Too busy. Anyway, I'll try to make this quick. After seeing how successful your business model is, the higher-ups downstairs want you to help us build a restaurant in hell, too. Today, you're going to be coming with me on a business trip to hell. Oh, wait. Uh, but what about this restaurant? Yes, yes. Don't worry. I already thought of this. Come on in. I brought you another part-timer to help out while you're away. Uh-huh. That's all for me. You can ask Sharon for more specifics. Ta-ta now. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, if you got any questions for me, I'm all ears. Go talk to him, would you? Is this rabbit who I think it is? Is this, is this mommy? You. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. I'll do my best here. Ah, uh, so you're the cat I've heard so much about. <laughs> Is Daddy going to hell? Hey, hey, don't cry. Yes, he's going to hell, but only for a little business trip. Your dad will be fine, don't worry. How he's gonna get there? Oh, everyone's favorite ghost train, of course. Though I'll be going back with him, obviously. We're short-staffed in hell, too. But we've got customers. I know, right? Like, what are you gonna do in the meantime? It's pretty unreasonable, I totally agree. But I mean, the only reason you guys are allowed to run this joint to begin with is because the high-ups were willing to look the other way. So, yeah. But I know you'll manage, especially with the help of your new part-timer. Uh, 
who are you? I'm showing the fairy man. I'm kind of a little body of your dad's. Okay. Is that it? Okay, I guess we're we'll continue talking to her. Uh, is this your first job? Well, I did a whole lot of housework way back when, so I think I can probably handle this. Did you come from hell? Yes, I did. Dorothy gave me special permission to leave. Oh, okay. So what will it be, big guy? I mean, do I have a choice? Nope, you sure don't. Figured as much. Uh. Well, this is all very sudden, but take care of the place for me. Have we met before? Uh, sorry, never mind. Anyway, you guys take care of the restaurant while I'm gone, okay? I'll do my best. That's what I like to hear. But take it easy, okay? Anyway, you guys take good care of the restaurant while I'm gone, okay? Well, I better get ready. Okay, I'll wait out here. Yeah, I just love how she's chilling here. Sorry to impose on you guys like this. So, hey, mind if I order something while I'm here? Could you make me some tea? Maybe? Feeling kinda chilly. <laughs> okay. Wait, aren't I going to do the cooking? Kids shouldn't uh, be around open flames. No, you just take the orders, lady. Uh, no worries, I'm fully qualified. Huh? Oh, right, of course. Sorry for questioning you. Get some fresh herbs in here. Oh, wow, that water boiled really fast. Stir in this pot of tea. Uh. Oh, okay. Jeez, <laughs> serve the customer already. Uh, oh, right. Oh, get right on that. Wow, what an authentic green tea. And you made it all by yourself. If I do. Oh yes, this fragrance. It's so comforting. Oh, so very zen. I love tea. Okay, so what's with the music here? I'm oh, sorry for spacing out earlier. Uh, you really like tea, huh? I do. Especially matcha. How do you know my dad? Well, we only met once, but I helped him cross the river Styx. To save you, of course. Uh, don't you have fairing to do? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm on paid leave. <laughs> do you know that rabbit? No, but not at all. Never met her before in my life. I think she was asking Dorothy for a favor or something. Phew, yeah, that is the spot. Imagine that's like the music you hear when you drink green tea. Okay, I'm all set. Oh, there you are. Shall we then? Well, I'll see you later. I'll take care of the restaurant. I like your attitude, but don't overdo it. Uh... Oh, um, uh... Hmm? What is it? Oh, it's nothing. Never mind. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Do, 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 do. I... Uh, something wrong? Oh no, it's nothing really. <clears throat> Are you alright? Oh no, I'm fine. I just got something in my throat, that's all. I'm cold. Please help me warm up. Um, sounds like he wants something warm. Uh, show me the memory shard? Oh, right, you mean this? Uh, what do we do with it? 
<laughs> it's dive time! Huh? Oh, okay, um, dive time! Um, uh, sorry, what exactly does that entail? It's ta you just poke them. Like this. I see, so you're going to dive into his memories? Mom, I'm starving. Okay, dear, let's buy you something to eat. Brr, so cold. It's cold as ice, poor thing. Oh, hey. I'll be waiting outside. Gosh, this meat bun looks yummy. I'm getting it right now. Uh, hmm? Here we go. Sorry about that, dear. Oh, you already finished your food? Uh, yep. My, you really were hungry. So warm. Aww. Now I just gotta make him a little, little bun, little meat bun. Oh wow, you're better at this than I thought. Like I said, I'm a pro. Um, is there anything I can help with? <laughs> Don't come into the kitchen. Uh, nope, I'm fine. Well, let me know if you need anything. Wow, it smells great. Did Bear teach you how to make these? Oh. Oh my goodness. When I was young, I had everything given to me on a silver platter. Thought I was invincible. But then things fell apart somewhere along the way, and it was all downhill from there. Ah, oh, can't believe I ended up dying on the streets in the cold. But when that girl offered me her meat bun, it felt like she was saying it wasn't too late even for a guy like me. I'm glad I got to meet an angel like her in my final hours. Well, that was sad. The, try to serve the bastard next time. Why did they give such, like, snappy answers? Did that customer leave happy? Yes. Yes, I believe so. Uh, what do you like to eat? Huh? Me? Well, I like sweets. Like cakes and puddings. Well, why did you go to hell? I did something very wrong. That's why I'm in hell. <clears throat> Are you sure you're alright? Sorry. No, no, it's nothing. I'm fine, really. Oh, another customer. <laughs> That hair wave? <laughs> well, well. Hello there, fair maiden. Hmm. What will I order? Why, I think I'll have something elegantly refined and yet unabashedly fabulous. Like a treasure trove of flavor so sublime that demons will sing Hosanna's for a nibble. That is, if it's not too much trouble. And might I just add, hmm, you, my dear, are like a lonely rose blooming in the middle of an arid desert, almost as if destiny brought me to an untimely end, just so I might bask in your radiance. Might I have the pleasure of knowing your name? <laughs> Jeez. Yo, know, that guy kind of creeps me out. Is this something about a treasure trove? I don't know. Uh, sounds like we gotta dive. Uh, I really don't want to, but I guess if there's no other way... <laughs> Did 
this dude. <laughs> just, that's all he says. <laughs> We're about to die. Just heh. <laughs> Hmm. Blue skies overhead, bubbly white clouds. I've conquered the mountains, now it's time to conquer the sea. But first, I'm feeling a little bit peckish. Hmm, something smells good in there. Pardon me, sir, might I trouble you for a nice chicken burrito? Oh, geez, don't tell me he got like a cramp while swimming. <laughs> Mmm, delicioso. Ah, oh, I feel so revitalized. Now then. Why, well, hello there, ladies. Would either you care to accompany me on a little summertime adventure? Ew, no, get lost. Ugh. C come on now, surely there must be something I can get for you ladies, no? Yes, you can get lost. Hey, hey, no need to be so harsh. Ugh, fine, be that way. Well, there he goes. <laughs> There's some babes chilling in their bikinis. <laughs> nice. Do I just... Hello? Oh my, so much drama. Is this your first time at the beach? Uh... It is, actually. The ocean's so very vast, isn't it? Just think about all the other countries that lie on the other side. I know, why don't we go for a swim? Uh, we still got work to do. Oh, right, I guess we do. I figured a little break might be okay, but I guess not. Hmm, shall we head back then? You obtained a memory shard. Alright, so I guess uh, we gotta make a chicken burrito. Um, are you going to be using that frying pan? Please be careful. Don't touch the edges or you'll burn yourself. Kids really shouldn't be around open flames. Uh, relax. I got a handle. Oh, right. Of course. I'm sorry. Um, can I tell you something? Uh, sure. What's up? Never mind. It's nothing important. I love how, like, when they cook, they're just, like, walking in place. <laughs> that noise. N hello Oh, right, sorry. I I'm on it. Are you all right? Mm, my sincere apologies, sir. Uh, not at all. Are you all right, my lady? Y yes, I'm fine, thank you. But your burrito? Ah, oh, yes. Well, three second rule. <laughs> I can't let such a fine burrito go to waste. Mmm, delectable. I'm sure you don't get, you know, diarrhea in heaven. I'm a very lucky man. To have gone to speak with a lovely lady like you at the end of my days. If ever there is anything I can do for you, my lady, just say the word and I'll come running. But until then, my dear, I must bid you a doo-doo. <laughs> nice. Sorry about that. Don't sweat it, meow. Everyone makes mistakes. I've been watching this whole time. You're doing a great job, Meow. But now, let's see if you can make me the perfect dish. Consider it a challenge. Alright. I'm sorry. I won't make the same mistakes again. Go ahead. Use that special dive technique of yours. Hit me with your best shot. Uh, why don't I uh, go alone this time? Oh, okay then. Well, take care. It's our first day of work, you know, we gotta go a little bit easy on her. 
God, this is so good. Huh? What's up, kitty cat? I see someone's got a big appetite today. We'll get a load of this. Good old tuna sashimi, the cream of the crop. Well, well. So fresh, meow. Like it just hopped out of the sea. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well then. Oh, you want more, do ya? Alright, how about this? It's a fish cake. Generally, it's not good to feed cats processed foods like this, but I had to make this one custom lack just for you. It's only lightly flavored. Go on, eat up. A fish cake, eh? Interesting. Meh, I could go wrong. Huh? Uh, this fish cake is soaked. Soaked in delicious broth. You can really taste the other ingredients, like it's been infused with all the best parts of Odin. Pretty darn tasty, Meow. Alright, Meow, it's time for the final showdown. Hey, looks like you really do have a discerning palate. I expect nothing less. Okay, time for our last dish of that. Anyone care for a little steak? Hmm? Just looks like a regular steak at first glance. Not an expensive cut of meat either. Hmm? Sweet mother of catnip! The meat itself is definitely third rate and cheap. And yet after the refreshing taste of tuna sashimi and the comforting warmth of Odin's soaked fish cakes, my tummy's craving protein like never before. So even this bargain bin steak tastes like a five-star filet mignon. Okay, meow, I admit defeat. See, I knew you'd love it. You see, you can never judge a food stand by any one particular dish because they're meant to be savored as a whole. That's the secret. Uh, of course, everything tastes better with a drinking buddy. Glad to have you, kitty cat. You obtained a memory shard. Alright. Did the dive go well? Yep, can you grab the ingredients? Sure thing. Wait, we didn't even tell her what the ingredients were. Huh. I'm just dragging her down. Saying stupid things I don't mean to say. She probably hates me. Uh, why am I such a failure? I need to trust that she knows what she's doing. Ah, uh, here are those ingredients. A photo? There's a sweet little girl in the photo. She looks very happy. This photo? That must be her. Hands. I'm so sorry. If only I'd been stronger. You two wouldn't have had to face the world alone. Is it really too late for me to be her mom? I don't know what to do. But I can't give up hope. I just can't. So that is, Mommy. But how did she die? Okay, here are the greens you asked for. Mr. Bear is just keeping fresh tuna in his room. Will you cut the fish? Sure, piece of cake. Um... What is it now? Oh no, it's nothing important. Anyway, good luck. We'll show that cat what real food tastes like. That's the spirit. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, here we go. Hmm, yes. Very fresh, meow. Tastes pretty good. And yet, something's missing. Sounds like they were expecting more. Here's the second course. A fish cake. Hmm, soaked in broth. Pretty tasty. No further comments, meow. Are you sure this is what he wants? Something tells me it's not. I'll say, not to worry. The steak, the steak's the last part. Steak, looks pretty cheap. Ugh, wait, I remember this meal. Guess that's what dives are for. But you know, Meow. 
What? What do we know? That three-course meal was perfectly acceptable. Moreover... Well, what's the problem? You're wondering why I'm not satisfied. Even though you recreated those dishes perfectly, correct? Well, why would I be? All you did was copy someone else's work. Uh, I mean... I think I understand. <laughs> We're talking here. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> if you're sick, take the day off. <clears throat> sorry. And stop saying sorry. Sorry, I'm really sorry. Hey, knock it off. What's wrong with you? Quit treating your coworkers like garbage. Who are you always in such a rush for? No wonder your work is sloppy. You're not cut out to be a chef, meow. Oh! Oh, dang. Was that too far? Maybe I said a little too much. Or, maybe I said a little too much. I mean, I can tell how hard she's been working. I've been watching her this entire time. I could understand her frustration. But also, I kind of lied. Because really, she cooked everything to perfection. It was all extremely scrumptious. But the truth is, no matter what I eat, I'm just never satisfied. But I guess I get to play the mom now. Her chef's hat. I should give back give it back to her later. Hmm? There's a glimmering shard on the floor. Is it from the customer? Oh. Oh my goodness. Mama? Mama, where are you? Why is pixel art so cute? How strange. I can feel his memories flowing into my mind. And there's this tightness in my chest. I know what this poor kitten really wants. There's only one thing it could be. You've got milk! <laughs> nice. Milk? In a baby bottle? Pah, don't make me laugh, meow. I'm not kidding anymore. I'm not... I was the run of the litter. Which meant I was always last to get fed by my mama. So I never got enough, and I was never satisfied. I know, I know, survival of the fittest. But at least... She used to groom me a lot. While I tried to suck out whatever milk was left. Almost like she was saying sorry, there wasn't more. I was never full, but at least I was happy. But then one day... Hey, look, a stray cat, and she's got kittens with her. Freaking pest, pumping out kids when even without a home. You run around the other way, let's bring him in. Ah, one of them got away. Come on, man, what are you doing? Yeah, whatever, let's just get the rest of them. I was so scared, I ran away as fast as I could. I just kept running and running, and then before long, I got used to living on my own, always being on the run. I pretty much forgot all about my mama and my siblings. I just put them out of my sight and out of my mind. Almost like what, what, what I was really running from. From my own memories. Do you think my mom and my siblings will ever forgive me for banning them like that? I don't know. I'm scared. Scared of having to face them in heaven. I'm afraid that they might not forgive me. Of course they would. I'm sure they're dying to see you again. I mean, that's what families are for, isn't it? Mwah. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just his little face is so cute. He'll be just fine. You got nothing to worry about, I promise. Hmm. Thank you, Meow. I think I'm ready to face them now. Goodbye, Odin Cat. Actually, wait. Oh, actually, wait. I can't leave yet. 
Not until you guys find your happiness too, Meow. That cat's your daughter, isn't she? What? H how did you know? No need to hide it. See, when you touched my heart, I got a little glimpse inside of yours as well. Wanna talk about it, Meow? No rush though, I can wait, Meow. Ready to tell me about yourself, Meow? I died without ever meeting my daughter. My whole life, I was hopelessly frail. My husband, Hans, he always took such good care of me. But it only made me feel like a burden. It was me who begged to be sent to hell, to be punished for all the pain and suffering I'd caused. But then, the two of them showed up down there. The emotions came crashing over me in waves. I needed to see them again, to hold them in my arms again. No matter the cost, even though I know I don't deserve them. Deserve? But they want you to- yeah, they want you back too, Meow. They- they do? Sheesh, you're pretty done sometimes, you know that? What family doesn't need a mama? Now, I know why Cat was so determined. To become a real chef ASAP Meow. Well, look at you. You're getting a lot better. What? You want to hurry up and go to heaven? I understand, Pumpkin. You want to see Mommy again, don't you? Daddy wants to see her too. I wish we could go and see her right away. But it won't be too much longer, I promise. How much longer? Um, well, for now, let's say as soon as you become a proper che chef. He really said that? You know, he's hopeless. He shouldn't have let her on like that. Especially since he knew you were in heaven to begin with. Let's go see your daughter. <laughs> I love how the cat's like walking sideways up. <laughs> Alright. Go on, just be brave. You got this, meow. Wait, I know this place. Ah. There you are, little grizzly bear. Heh, <laughs> all by yourself. What a loser. Waiting for mommy to come pick you up. Oh, wait, I forgot. You don't even have a mom. Hey, knock it off. What the? Run for it, dude. Yeah. Are you okay? Boys can be so cruel. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm used to it. Are you waiting here for someone? Yep, I'm waiting for my daddy. He hasn't come to pick you up yet? No, nope, he always has to work really late. I see. That must be hard for him. Hey, Annie? Are you happy? Oh yeah, I'm very happy. Sure, I have my bad days, but I've got my daddy. And I made a new friend too. We even played soccer together the other day. You did? Oh, how nice. Oh, hey, you both came to pick me up today? Sure did. I got off work early today. What do you say we go buy you a new game, sweetie? Yay! <laughs> I wish that happened to me when I was younger. Um... Do... do you ever wish you could meet your mommy? Well, yeah. Of course I do. I mean, Daddy always told me that mommy was the nicest, prettiest, and strongest person in the whole wide world. And you know what? When I finally do get to meet her, I'm gonna tell her thank you. Thanks for being my mommy and for giving birth to me. That's what I'll say. Why are you crying? Did you get an owie? No, no, dear. I'm just happy. More than you could ever know. Oh, did something nice happen to you today? Well, I'm glad. Anyway, don't worry about me. Daddy says I'll be able to meet Mommy in heaven. 
Yes, Annie, Daddy's right. Huh? Mommy will always be waiting for you. Up in heaven. Aww. Forever and ever. You're not sure why, but you woke up with tears in your eyes. Alright, let's head downstairs. Oh? You're awake? Want some breakfast? Oh, there's some breakfast here. Where's the rabbit? Oh, she left in a hurry to catch the train a little while ago. I was so cruel to her yesterday. I have to apologize. Nah, don't worry. She knows you didn't really mean it. You can apologize the next time you meet. For now, it's breakfast time, meow. Hee 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 hee. Go on, eat it. It looks yummy. Rabbit and I made it together. So, what do you think? Are there eggshells in here? Yep, that's my special sunny side <laughs> up eggs recipe. It's chock full of calcium. Uh, it's delicious. You mean it? Aw, shucks. Um, what's this over here? Oh, Rabbit made those. They're octopus hot dogs. Anyways, enjoy your breakfast. Mommy. I'm home. Hey, sorry I was gone so long. What's the matter, Pumpkin? Did something happen? Mommy. I miss Mommy. Why don't we go see her then? So, how'd you like the story of Bear's Restaurant? After that, the two finally made the big trip to heaven. But that's a story for another day. You will not be taken back to the post game prior to the events of the epilogue. There still might be a few secrets hidden here and there. If you haven't already, please take a look around and see what you can find. Alright, so I guess in the end... Uh, she got to meet her mom and figure out that her mom was actually the rabbit who came to, to help. That's pretty darn cool. Um, hmm. Okay, so... I'm looking at my Steam homepage, and it says that uh, I'm still missing a couple of achievements here, so... Let me take a look at these. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, I am back, and it says I am missing one achievement, which is the truth. Um, so let's see what that is. What's up? Talk to Bear? Man, cooking in human form is nice for a change. Okay. How do I get the truth? Hmm. So we already did that. We already touched the bear. Is there a new memory shard? Nope. That's it. Oh, the mailbox? Nope. Uh, oh, oh, do we get to read this? Is this the truth? Huh. I guess not. Oh, maybe, um, we can only read it when we're the bear. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. All right. Wait, but 
There we go. Good morning. It's time for your daily checkup. Here, I'll open the curtains for you. What a beautiful day. Let's see. Okay, so I'm guessing this is Han, Hans when he's 72, and maybe he actually dies the, the most peaceful death out of all the ones we've seen so far. He had such a lovely daughter. She had the most beautiful smile. Poor guy, he's been alone for so long. His pulse is weak. It's been getting weaker by the day. Okay, checkup time. Hmm, breathing looks okay. Let's check his pulse. Hmm? Am I imagining things or is he smiling today? Hmm. He must be having a very nice dream. What can I get ya? Uh, sir, are you awake? What can I get ya? Everything's on the menu here. What? Was he talking to sleep? Hmm. I love it when he does that. It's kind of cute. Always talking about all sorts of different foods, like Odin, omelets, and beef stew. You really did love cooking, didn't you? You know, sir, you and I have actually met before. About 15 years ago, when you moved to my hometown, people told me to stay away from you because you were an outsider. But my mother and I still visited your restaurant a good number of times. I still remember how you gave us your special pudding and said, it's on the house. It was the best thing I ever tasted. But then we made eye contact, and I could see that there was sadness in your eyes. You are probably thinking about your own daughter, weren't you? But then I moved to the big city to go to medical school. I always wanted to be a doctor, you see. But once I graduated, I came right back here. This is the nearest hospital to my hometown, so everyone I knew comes here. But here I am. I finally became a doctor. I mean, I'm still in residency, but my childhood dream actually came true. Sorry, I am no talking a lot by myself. I wish I didn't have to be the one doing all the talking. Hmm. The other day, my colleague told me, You probably don't have much longer to live. G guess this is going to be first time having to watch one of my patients die, I mean. But I suppose that's what I signed up for. Gotta learn how to deal with it. And yet... I can't stop trembling. I'm scared. I'll come back later. So was he in like half a coma or something? And that's why he was not dead, but not alive either? Something's wrong with him. Oh God. He's fading fast. I'm right here, sir. Don't you worry. Goodbye, sir. I pray you'll find your daughter in heaven. There we go. The last achievement. So I guess he finally passed away. He had the most peaceful death out of all the other deaths we saw. Oh, he went to heaven. Cause of death, pneumonia, resulting immune system failure. His wife passed away due to complications from childbirth, but she's in heaven ever since. A good man who endured much misfortune in his life. Aww. There we have it, everyone. I guess that's it. Alright, well, I guess that is the end of Bear's Restaurant. We uh, found out that all the family members got to meet each other again, so that was very nice. So all in all, happy ending. You know, <laughs> very uh, sad deaths that we saw, but you know, at least those characters made it to heaven. And uh, maybe the other ones have a, a chance of reincarnation as the story goes. Alright everyone, thank you so much for going on this adventure with me. Um, I guess it has finally come to an end and I'm really excited to see what game Odin Cat will have in the future. I know it's probably going to be a while until they release their next game, but like that um, 
video game player said in the previous episode that hopefully we'll be able to see even more really cool story rich pixel games like uh, Bear's Restaurant and Meg's Monsters and uh, many others. Alright everyone, thank you so much again for watching and I will see you all on the next adventure. Until then, bye!